Hi everyone, welcome to another Kitchen Empties. I'm going to do something a little bit different this time and include some labels. I think it's very enlightening of what's good or not and why. And I definitely do not eat as clean as I would like to, so this is going to help me as well to be cognizant of what's in everything. I don't think I could ever have 100% perfect, nor am I going to try to, but I think I need to pick my poison, no pun intended there. Um, I'm doing this with Kathy's Beauty Care Chats. I love her. She eats very differently than me, so go check her out. And let's jump in with household things. This Arm & Hammer OxyClean laundry detergent has gotten crazy priced. This is much more reasonable, and I think it cleans just as well. I really like it. And for my towels, I have started adding half a cup of baking soda, and then in the bleach dispenser, I put in about a quarter cup of vinegar and my towels come out so fresh, no mildewy smell, really nice, but I would definitely recommend this, it's good. Speaking of the vinegar that I use, I use this, like I said, in my towels, in the wash with the Arm & Hammer and some baking soda. This dispenses out later. I put this in my dishwasher sometimes instead of dishwasher detergent. I use this all over the house and love it. And bleach is another thing I use all over the house. I dump it in my toilets, don't have to scrub them. I use it sometimes just to splash in my water that I use on my floors. I love bleach. Now I don't overuse it, but I think it's good to have some really clean surfaces once in a while. I'm not afraid of germs, but I think, you know, this gets things really clean. And a couple more household items before I get into the food. This is Spa Guard. I use this in our spa or jacuzzi, hot tub, whatever you call it. I put in, I think, two tablespoons every weekend and it's great. I don't really have to adjust chemicals or worry about anything else. This, and I don't want to get it everywhere, is a bag of sugar. It's not for me, it's for the hummingbirds. I dissolve one cup of sugar to four cups of hot water, boil it on the stove, dilute it with another cup. No, is that right? I do two cups of sugar to eight cups of hot water. I make a double batch. And that's my hummingbird feeder syrup, and they love it. So I always keep sugar on hand for them. Scrubbing bubbles, we're now getting this uh, no-name version from the dollar store and I just spray it on the shower floor while I'm doing other things before my shower and then I take a brush in and just quickly rough, you know, scrub it and then have my shower and that's it for cleaning my shower. But we also squeegee our doors and use that cloth to wipe our shower doors down. So like I said, we're going to have a mix of things that aren't good for us and things that are better for us. This is not as good, even though it says zero sugar, zero calories, it has um, it's not aspartame, but it also says natural and artificial flavors. Natural flavors are bad. They are not good for you. I love this. I have a pump. I do usually the hazelnut, but I do a pump of that in my coffee every day. I love it. I try not to abuse it, but it is good and it's addictive. I also get it at Bras. $4, which is about half the price you'll find it anywhere else. My electrolyte powder, I sometimes get the Dr. Berg's if you can find it on sale. I use Keepa, which is an app that monitors Amazon prices for you and tells you when they drop. So if I can get Dr. Berg's on sale, I do, and I'll link Keepa and everything else below. But otherwise, I get these, which are Kepi, not to be confused with the Keepa price monitoring. These are Kepi electrolyte these are really good. They have a lot of magnesium and pomegranate, uh, magnesium and potassium. This one's blueberry pomegranate. This one's raspberry lemonade. I actually like the raspberry lemonade better. I do one scoop of these in water with my apple cider vinegar and sometimes some acerola powder, which is my vitamin C, in the morning and the evening. Now, Careful with the vitamin C powder. It can get things moving through you a little swiftly. But this is great to give you the magnesium you need if you don't eat as many vegetables as you need to get your magnesium, 
or if you're like me with the heat here, we're around 120 in the valley, right around 100 up here, I get leg cramps, especially at night. This prevents it. I love it. Keeps you healthy, allows good sleep, it's wonderful. You saw the sugar for the hummingbird food? This is for the rats. You can put some out in whatever container you want to try to avoid the rain and they eat the mashed potatoes, it blows up inside of them, it kills them without there being danger of secondary kill. So the hawks or whatever is going to eat the dead rat that has had the potatoes expand in their stomach, they're fine to eat the rat. It will not poison them. So we have this out around our property. We find we get rats about four times a year. Basically spring, summer, fall, and winter. And so I put this out for maybe three consecutive weekends and we get rid of all of our rat problem. These are raw sunflower seeds, which I love in our salads. I get these from Trader Joe's. These are really good. The ingredient is sunflower seeds. This decaf coffee, I don't need caffeine. I don't feel like it gives me an oomph or like I feel like I'm sluggish without it. So I'm like, why have it? So I'm trying to use up all my caffeinated stuff. I like this just fine. That being said, the decaf coffee that's done with the filtered press water is a better way to get your decaf, but I am okay with it. I'm not that concerned and for me, I'm not a coffee snob. I boil or make a big full 12 cup pot of coffee, put it in a container in the fridge and I have it over ice with a bit of cream, my coffee syrup, and I probably have quite a bit of that, like 16 ounces a day, two, maybe even, is that more? That's more like 24 ounces. Two big Yetis of it. So that's why I'm switching to decaf. That's a lot of coffee. Again, we have things that are better for us and not as good. These are not as good. These are just great value mozzarella and Colby Jack. Rather than shredded cheese, which is very convenient and I use, What's better is buying the bricks and then slicing that or grating it yourself. I'm lazy and frequently buy this, but I also do buy the blocks and those are better for you without as many preservatives. Sunflower seed, I really like this, but it has sunflower oil in it, which I did not know. So these are not as good for you as you would think. I take two seaweed pieces and eat those every morning along with two Brazil nuts and that's mainly for my thyroid but I might be looking for another brand now that I see that they have sunflower oil in This gravy packet, once in a while I'll put a roast gravy packet. I'll put the recipe below. It's a French dip with a roast. It's wonderful. And we have some leftovers in the freezer that Mark, I know, is wanting me to pull out and have. It's really good. It makes a beautiful au jus. That being said, when you look at these ingredients, first one, cornstarch. There's soy. There's corn syrup. There is so much in here that is not good. I don't use this that often, twice a year maybe. So I'm not too concerned. I'm more trying to clean up my diet in everyday things. So I eat sausage fairly often. This is Trader Joe's spicy chicken sausage. And the ingredients are so clean and so beautiful. It is nothing that is bad for you. It is all natural. It is not hardly processed. It's cooked. I just microwave it or put it in a saucepan to heat it up. This is a really, really good healthy snack. And this is ham, which I love with a piece of cheese and I just roll it up. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of red onions or cilantro with it for a quick snack. This has sugar in it, which is not good at all. And it also has some other poor ingredients like carrageenan, the uh, starch, potato starch, just a lot of ingredients that aren't as good. I'm going to be looking for a better quality deli meat and I know that that will probably be at Trader Joe's. So here's another example. I showed you this chicken sausage which is really good. This Gilbert's Caprice, all natural, no antibiotics. It sounds amazing. It has sugar in it. It has um, rosemary extract, which that's fine, but the cherry powder, um, there's the beef collagen casing, I'm not as worried about it, though I do eat that. 
there are some things in here that are not as good. So I'm better off with the Trader Joe's definitely than this. This smoked sausage. I can't read the ingredients, but I know it has sugar and corn syrup on here. And I'll put it on the screen. But I love how they always throw around the word natural. Natural, it doesn't mean it's good, people. Trust me, this is not as good. I need to stick to the Trader Joe's sausage. And when I have two tasty, wonderful alternatives, there's no reason that I need to have something like this with the corn syrup in it. Butter, I think, is healthy for you. This is not near as good as like Kerrygold, but it's good in clean ingredients. Pasteurized cream from milk and salt. Um, I think that's it. it. Contains milk and salt. So this I'm not as concerned about. Is it the highest quality? Probably not. But it's reasonably priced and I use butter a fair amount in my cooking. Cream cheese. I don't do dirty keto where I'm putting cream cheese in a lot of things, but I will use it once in a while. Like Just because it's keto doesn't make it okay to have a huge amount of calories. So I'm very careful with this, but if it can get us to eat vegetables more, like I use this in a cauliflower dish that I have and Mark likes it, then I will do it. But it's not huge quantities that I use at one time. There is also a bread that I make with this in it, and if I remember, I'll link it below. So it helps us, it's with almond flour and a lot of other things, so it helps us be healthier, and you don't use a huge amount of this. I mentioned that in the morning I eat Brazil nuts. These are not the best. These are, eh, the ones that I get off Amazon are phenomenal. I think they're about $8, they're a huge bag. This is eight ounces, I think they're like 32 ounces really like the quality of them. They're much fresher and I only eat two every morning for my thyroid. The other thing I do every day is a tablespoon of nutritional yeast and this is from Trader Joe's. This is so healthy for you. It has niacin which is vitamin B3, riboflavin which is B2, folic acid, vitamin B12, um, it has B1, it is your bees. This helps so much in getting your system running properly and helping you be calm and functioning on all cylinders. It will probably also help with your sleep. Like I said, I just, you could put this on salads or on, you know, like stir fried zucchini or something like that. I literally take a tablespoon and eat it. And yes, it gets kind of thick in your mouth, but it's cheesy. I enjoy it a lot and it's great for the vitamins. Again, natural, 100% natural beef broth. Let's see how natural this is. It has sunflower oil, sugar, yeast extract, natural flavors. This is not just as good as plain old beef or chicken broth. I think there are some healthier alternatives that I could definitely be doing that wouldn't have all this in there. I don't use beef broth as often as I use chicken broth and if I only need half of this, I have an ice cube tray that has big squares. I pour them in there and I freeze it and then I put them into a plastic bag and I just use that whenever I need it and put it directly into my pan for whatever kind of stock, chicken or beef stock I need. Always use, especially the chicken. So here's one that is way worse for me than I knew. The very first ingredient, soybean oil. It also has sugar and it's just not good quality. Mark loves this. I make some things with a fair amount of this, like my broccoli salad. I think I need to search out some better quality mayonnaise because for the first ingredient to be soybean oil and for it to have sugar, this is not good. Here's some more that aren't as good. So this is onion soup. It has maltodextrin, sugar, soy protein, corn protein, corn starch, caramel color, soy. I mean, I could go on and on. Practically the whole ingredient list is bad. I don't use it that often, maybe once a quarter. I'll use a recipe with this in it, but that's pretty bad. Maybe I need to look for a better onion soup one as well. And then Montreal steak. I thought this would just be seasonings. It has sunflower oil. Who knew? We love this garlic powder and Lowry salt on our steaks. It makes it amazing. Not happy that it has sunflower oil in it. Okay, I'm not even gonna show you the ingredients on this. It's bad, that's all I'll say, but it tastes so good. 
This is Ghirardelli chocolate with Hershey's Symphony bar. You make this up as per the directions, put down half, put two big Hershey's bars across the eight inch square pan or nine inch, whatever you use, eight inch, and then you put the rest of the topping on top of this. So delicious. I actually don't like it as much with the almond and toffee bit Symphony bar. I just like like the plain Hershey's. First treat, or if you have friends over and you want something decadent, this is it. It makes the chocolate layer gooey in the middle of the brownies. So good. Okay, I'm going to have to speed up because I think I'm taking a while. This is organic carrots. They're really good for you. This was the one with all the colors, which is fun, versus just the orange. And they're cut and peeled they're from Trader Joe's. They're really good. Here are raisins, and let's hope there's no other ingredient. Yes, just raisins. I use raisins a fair bit. Uh, sometimes on salads. I got a hair sticking to my mouth. Sometimes on salads, sometimes um, in my broccoli sa uh, salad that I mentioned that I'll link below, just in different recipes. I really enjoy having raisins around. Beets. I try to eat beets. I need more betaine in my system. This is beets, water, and salt. So they're great for you. I also love pickled beets. I have no problem eating beets, but I also take betaine and then apple cider vinegar, and I'll have to do a recipe on the gut. On our salads, I know this isn't good. Hidden Valley Ranch. I'm scared to look at it. Soybean and canola oil, sugar. It's just got a lot of bad stuff. That being said, it tastes so good. We try to have salads for an appetizer once to twice a week now that I have my garden. I know this is not as good, but it's the only dressing Mark will eat. Laughing cow cheese, I sometimes mix this in with other cheeses in a casserole to give it a really rich, more decadent flavor than just using a plain one cheese. Having multiple cheeses can really add some dimension. Trader Joe's olive oil, I love this. I do not cook with any kind of seed oils. I use this or avocado oil or coconut oil, but usually this. We're getting near the end. Remember that cauliflower recipe I said I used with some cream cheese, the laughing cow cheese, everything but the bagel. That goes in there too. This is a wonderful, versatile seasoning. I always have this on hand. Love it. This is vanilla extract, and of course, there's sugar in it. I don't use it that often. It's more just in recipes. Um, I'm also wondering, I don't think I have my almond extract in here, but I'm wondering if you want a recipe on how I make my homemade kombucha. I love that stuff, and it's so healthy for your gut. Almond flour, I try to use this. I'm not fanatical about avoiding regular flour, but I do try to do more healthy recipes. If I can get my diet 75% healthy and marks 30% healthy, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. So almond flour, I get this from Costco and always, you know, it lasts quite a while, but I enjoy it. Trader Joe's coconut oil. It's mechanically pressed organic coconut oil with soy, lecithin, and natural flavors. I guess it's better, even though it has the soy in there, than some of the other sprays. I would be better to use my own or use butter, but it's convenient. And then I love this Suave Pink Grapefruit Hand Soap. Really enjoy the scent of that. And whenever something gets down low, I usually add water in and shake it up, and then you can use the rest of that. And it's a little diluted, but it works great. And then my Cranberry Wax Cubes. I know these are not healthy for you. When we have a party, it's really a nice ambiance to have those lit up. Um, candle burners that I have. I have ones that look like little deer in there and it makes a nice scent around the house. Like I said, I'm more fanatical about what I put in my body. That's what I'm trying to clean up and I have lots of room for improvement. So I hope you picked up a tip or two. I'll be interested if you read your labels, if you're trying to cl eat clean or if you just wing it and enjoy life like Mark does. <laughs> so thank you for spending your time with me and I hope you're having an amazing day. And go check out Kathy's video. We'll talk to you next time.